But the biggest thing to me is, is making that connection, right? And them feeling that connection and knowing that I'm here for them to help them and knowing why they're selling. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. I don't do presentations and I don't do pre-listing packages. Now, please don't take it as though I'm saying that those things are bad, okay? Because I am not the God of real estate. All I try to do, and I do this for free, is I just share with you what I do. And then what I want you to do is I want you to take what I do and mold it into your own, okay? And then I want you to go crush it, okay? If you can just take one thing of what I do in my business and take it back to your business and absolutely dominate, that is my goal for you. Okay, so when I'm thinking about listing presentations, appointments, when I'm meeting with the seller, here, here's how it goes for me. This is what I do, okay? I literally walk in and what I bring with me what I bring with me is a folder. Okay, let's see if I have one right here. Here we go. Okay, I bring this folder with me. Okay, so I have this folder. I have a Ricky Carruth pen. Um, let's see, that was for something else. So, but when, when I do the listing appointments, okay, I have a Ricky Carruth pen. I take a $20 gift card to a restaurant. I have the comps on a, in a table on one sheet of paper and a, and a listing package with all the listing documents and I'll need blank. Okay, so let me run through that again. Everything I take with me to a listing appointment. It's the folder, Ricky Cruth pin. I'm gonna give them this entire package, whether they list or not, I'm gonna, they can have this. It's a $20 gift card to a nice restaurant around town a Ricky Carruth pin, a blank listing package, and the comps for the property. Okay, so so I walk into the house, okay? I lay the folder down on the counter, okay? And then I'm, I want, you know, number one, when I, when I, when they open the door, okay, right then that interchange right there between you and the seller, that is the most important part of the entire meeting. Okay, the entire meeting right there. Your tone, your body language, the speed of your voice, the friendliness, the professionalism, the, the intentions, the genuineness, the, the whole nine yards. That is the most important part because right then, that first impression of them face to face with you, they may have talked to you on the phone, they may have emailed you, they may have messaged you, but that first face to face Right, that's gonna tell them so much about you and so much about them for you, for you. So as you're going through, okay, what I wanna do is, is I just wanna be friendly and see how they're doing, right? I just wanna be friendly and see how they're doing, right? I want them to show me the house. So I'm gonna lay the folder down on the counter and I wanna, wanna let them tell me all about the house, right? I wanna let them tell me all about the house and I want them to take charge. I want them to be in control. I want them to feel comfortable. I want them to feel in their element. You know what I mean? Um, and so that, that's very key, okay? Making people feel comfortable with you. As I lay this up down and they're showing me through the house and they're feeling really comfortable, we may do a little small talk at that point. I wanna find out why they're selling. Okay, and this is the most important part of the besides meeting the first to first face to face moment. Okay, finding out why they are selling that property is going to be the second most important part of this meeting. Okay, because and this is something that most agents kind of they don't even go there. Right, I don't know if they're scared to ask or they feel like it's a private or more personal question or what the case may be. But this is so important because when you understand why someone is selling. Okay, because people don't just wake up one day and decide, oh, I just want to sell this house or, you know, I want to buy this property. They, they are buying or selling for a bigger reason than just buying or selling that property. Okay, their kids are going to college. They got a new job. They lost a job. You know, I don't know. There's something going on in their life that's bigger than the transaction that you need to know about as their real estate agent, as the person who is representing them. Okay, you need to know what's going on behind the scenes and what their motiva motivations are. Okay, and it's not necessarily to find out how motivated they are. It's to really know, okay, it's to really know why they're selling because once you know why they're selling, then and only then can you truly help them. Okay, so as you're going through there, you have your stuff, you've asked them why, you've small talk, you've, you've seen the house and everything. 
now, okay, now that I, I know everything I need to know in terms of the house, how they feel about me, are they comfortable, why are they selling, I know everything I need to know now to sit down with them, open up the folder and start working through the comps, right? At that point, I'm gonna start working through the comps to see what I think their house is worth compared to everything else and try to put it all together. Okay, another thing that I bring with me, I forgot, there's one more thing that I like to bring with me, and that is the tax records of the property, which shows when they bought it, how much they bought it, what the tax assessed value is, the whole nine yards there, because that's a piece of the puzzle that can really help me when I'm trying to establish valuation for the property. Because if they bought it a certain year, okay, for a certain price, I know in my mind that the market has appreciated X amount since then. That really kind of helps me there as well, especially on a property that's hard to price. You know, one that has a lot of upgrades or one that's different somehow, so on and so forth, okay? So the biggest thing for me is not the presentation, it's not the how I'm gonna market it, it's not the, you know, pre-listing package and all that stuff. The biggest thing to me is, is making that connection, right? And them feeling that connection and knowing that I'm here for them to help them and knowing why they're selling and working through. And then when I work through the comps, I'm also, working on a game plan with them around why they're selling okay game plan with them around why they're selling all right so so if it's when their kids graduate they want to go through this another summer and then sell we need to know that okay we need to know that that's the reason they're selling and that's the time frame so they can work a game plan around that that time frame and everything